Um, hello guys. So, uh, the discuss lang natin yung case number 3 ng capitalized ko. So, kung matatandaan nyo, last uh, video na in-upload ko sa YouTube, no? Uh, yung ang dinascuss ko lang is case number 1 and case number 2. So, to recall, yung case number 1 natin, okay? So, ulitin ko lang ulit. Ano ba yung capitalized cost? So, capitalized cost of any property is the sum of the first cost and the present worth of all cost of replacement, operation, and maintenance for a long time or forever. Okay, so syempre, kapag bumili kayo ng machine, um, hindi naman yan laging kung magkano lang yung binili mo. No? So, kung magkano yung kanyang original price, yun na yun hanggang sa matapos siya. So, sa capitalized cost, kailangan nating i-consider yung cost ng company sa kanyang maintenance and also yung replacement. Okay, so sa case number one, yung para makuha natin yan, diba, that is first cost plus present worth of perpetual operation and or maintenance. Okay, so dito, usually, um, kung matatandaan nyo, yung last na topic natin, ah, may, yung previous topic natin, diba, annuity and perpetuity. Okay, so, ia-apply natin yun dito, yung annuity at saka yung perpetuity. Okay, so yung case number one, ang kinonsider lang natin doon, ba is yung maintenance. So, usually, ina-apply natin dito is perpetuity. Kasi syempre, pag binili mo yung machine at ginamit mo siya, so kailangan may maintenance. Okay, para mag-perform siya at its best, no, na ina-expect ni company. Kailangan may maintenance yan. So, usually, ang maintenance, indefinite yung time. Kaya ang ina-apply natin is perpetuity. So, kung may maintenance, syempre may cost yun. Yun yung sa case number one. Yung case number two naman natin, okay, so replacement only, no maintenance and or operation. So, dito, hindi natin kinonsider yung maintenance. Ang kinonsider lang natin is the replacement. Ano naman yung replacement? So, diba, uh, to recall ulit, no? Doon sa case number 2 natin. So, diba yung machine kasi meron nga tayong tinatawag na useful life, no? So, kalimbawa, um... Uh, yung machine, maglalas lang siya, for example, or ang useful life lang niya, for example, is 10 years. Okay? So, 10 years mo lang siya magagamit at it's, uh, kumbaga, uh, yung expected mo na performance niya. No? So, yun yung useful life na tinatawag natin. So, usually, kapag uh, malalaking company, after its useful life, nire-replace na siya. Okay, so papalitan na siya ng panibago. So dito, ina-assume natin na kung magkano yung original price ng machine after its useful life, kung bibili kayo ng panibagong machine, the same price pa din siya. Okay, so kailangan include nyo din syempre dyan yung um, salvage value. Diba? So yung salvage value, yan yung amount no, na pwede mong ibenta yung machine after its useful life. Okay, so kung matatandaan nyo, meron tayong formula, di ba? Yung formula natin, so ito yun. Ayan. So, di ba, kinukuha natin yung uh, X, di ba? Kapag dun sa case number 2, para makuha yung X, ito yun. So, that is equal to S. S, ito yung amount na kailangan mo para makabili ka ng panibagong machine. So, para makuha mo yung S, that is the difference between the yung original price niya, okay, and yung salvage value. So, kung given ay salvage value. So, it depends on the problem. So, kung ang given sa problem ay yung mismong S na, okay, so, ay, ibig sabihin ng S, ito yung amount that you need, no, to replace the machine. Okay? Yun yung, yun, yun yung kasi yung S. Pero kung hindi given yung S, yun yun, that's the difference between the amount or the price of the machine, the original price of the machine, and its salvage value. Okay, so yun yung S. Okay, so yung K naman dito, ba? Yung K dito, this is the, kumbaga, useful life. So, kung kailan mo siya kailangan i-replace. So, kung halimbawa ang useful life ng machine ay 10 years, ang K is equal to 10. Okay, and of course, we have to consider the interest. Okay, so that is for case number 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, kasi nga, itong case number 3, ito ay combination ng case number 1 and case number 2. So, we have to consider the maintenance, okay, and also the, uh, yung replacement, cost of re for replacement, okay. So, kaya kung makikita nyo, uh, meron tayong formula. Ito yung formula natin na ginagamit sa annuity. So, kasi ang, 
ang capitalized cost ito ay uh, application of annuity pa din eh. Annuity perpetuity. So, yun pa rin yung ginagamit natin na formula. Same formula pa rin po. Okay, so to get P, ito sa annuity ito. Diba, to get P, that is equal to A. So, ito yung uh, annuity. Diba? Multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N all over I. So, kasi ang kailangan natin dito is yung uh, P lagi. Okay, so magkano yung kailangan kong invest today para ma-cover up yung yung uh, cost for maintenance sa mga susunod na taon. So, yun yung capitalized cost. Magkano yung kailangan kong invest ngayon. Kaya, P ang hinahanap natin dito. Okay? So, kung perpetuity naman yan, ibig sabihin, di ba, kapag ka perpetuity, ito yung indefinite yung time. Kasi kapag P, kapag annuity kasi, alam natin yung time. Kaya nga meron tayo ditong N. So, kung halimbawa ay 5 uh, years, yung given natin na N dito. So, ito yung eto yun, dito siya ginagamit. Pero, kung, ang sa, kung sa problem ay indefinite yung time, ang gagamitin nyo naman is perpetuity na. Patulad ng example natin sa case number 1, diba? So, indefinite yung time, yung, yung para sa maintenance. So, ito yung ginamit natin na formula. Okay? So, pero kung given yung time, ito yung gagamitin natin na P. Okay? Malinaw? Hopefully, malinaw. Okay, so yung case number 3, so that is replacement, maintenance, and or uh, or operation every period. So it depends, no? So pwedeng halimbawa maintenance, pwede rin uh, ayan, yung, yung cost natin sa operation every period. So para makuha niyo yung capitalized cost, that is equal to first cost plus present worth of cost of perpetual operation and or maintenance plus present worth of cost of perpetual replacement. Okay? So, kaya siya ay combination ng case 1 and case number 2. Okay? So, let's give an example problem. Okay? So, ito yung problem. Determine the capitalized cost of a research laboratory which requires 5 million pesos for original construction. Okay? 100,000 at the end of every year for the first 6 years and then 120,000 each year thereafter for operating expenses and 500,000 every 5 years for replacement of equipment with interest at 12% per annum. So, dito medyo marami tayong given. No? So, meron tayong given na original cost nung um, yung original construction daw which is equal to 5 million pesos. Okay? Tapos, meron tayo ditong 100,000 na cost every year for the first 6 years. Okay, and then 120,000 each year thereafter for operating expenses. Okay, so ngayon, uh, uh, meron pa tayong another given pa, which is 500,000 pesos every 5 years for replacement of equipment. So dito, yung 500,000 pesos, yun na yung S kasi naka-indicate sa problem, no, na yun na yung mismong cost for replacement. So, yun na yung S natin dito. Okay? Yan. So, first, kunin muna natin yung... Uh, so, alam na natin yung original cost eh, di ba? So, that is uh, 5 million pesos. So, una... Mm -hmm. So, kunin muna natin yung Q. So, yung Q, yun yung present worth of cost of perpetual operation. So, ano nga ulit yung given natin? So, di ba meron tayong given na cost daw for the first 6 years which is equal to 100,000 and then 120,000 each year thereafter. So, ibig sabihin, yung 120,000 indefinite yung time. So, pag ginawa natin siya ng uh, cash flow diagram, okay, so, gawa natin siya ng cash flow diagram. So, kunin natin yung P dito. So, ito yung P. So, magkano yung kailangan niyang um, i-invest today? Okay? So, magkano yung kailangan ko invest today para ma-cover up natin yung um, 100,000 every 6 years, no? For, uh, I mean, every year for 6 years and 120,000 thereafter na cost natin for maintenance. So, pag ginawa natin siya ng cash flow diagram, so, assume natin na ito ay, kasi medyo maliit yung ating board, ano, i-ano na lang natin. So, let's say this is 1, 2, ito ay 5, 6. Yan. So, for the first 6 years, 
kailangan daw natin dito ng 100,000. So, lahat yan hanggang 6th year. So, kailangan natin ng 100,000. Okay? Yan. Tapos, after 6 years daw, okay, so after 6 years, dito, so starting 7th year, Seven, eight, nine, and so on. So, hindi natin alam kasi sabi thereafter. So, de definitely gagamitin natin dyan perpetuity. So, dito, ang kailangan naman natin na cost dito for maintenance is 120,000. Yan. So, 120,000. Okay? Yan. So, para kunin natin yung Q. O, ano nga ulit yung Q? Diba, yung Q natin, this is, um, that is the present worth of perpetual operation. Okay? So, yun yung uh, kailangan yung invest ngayon para dyan. Para makuha natin or makover up natin yung 100,000 pesos for the first 6 years and then yung susunod na taon, 120,000 na thereafter. Okay, so ngayon, kunin muna natin yung Q natin dito, diba? So, ibabalik natin yan dito. Okay, yan. So, using yung uh, formula natin for annuity. Diba? So, ito yan. So, we have to determine P. Okay, so given yung ating 100,000 every year. So, we have to determine P given A at, so, ilang percent yung ano natin, interest. Yan, so 12% for 6 years. Okay, so we have to determine P, given yung A, yung annuity natin, which is 100,000 pesos, uh, for 12% no, annually for 6 years. Okay, so ngayon, ito naman. So, nakuha na natin yung P para dito sa 100,000. So, kukunin din natin, syempre, yung 120,000. So, yung 120,000, since siya ay perpet, uh, thereafter, so indefinite yung time, perpetuity yung gagamitin natin. So, kunin natin to, babalik natin yan dito, hanggang dito yan. Okay. Yan. So, ito indefinite yan, ha? hindi lang hanggang 9. So, hindi, uh, 90 or hindi lang hanggang doon. Hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan. So, we have to determine yung P. Uh, I mean, ang gagamitin natin dito is P all over I na. So, P all over I. Okay, kasi perpetuity na yan eh. Diba? Kaya lang, eto, eto kasi, pag binalik natin siya dito, hanggang dito lang yan sa 6th year. Kailangan maibalik din natin siya dito hanggang sa yung present. Okay? So, kaya ito, gagamitin natin yung formula natin for uh, compound interest. Diba? Natanda nyo yung formula natin for compound interest. O, ulitin ko ulit ha. So, I am sorry. Meron nga pala tayong uh, foreign students. I'm sorry. Okay. So, here, we're going to use the formula for uh, perpetuity. Okay? Kasi uh, the cost is 120,000 thereafter. Okay? So, this one, we will be using the formula for perpetuity. So, I'm sorry. This is not P. This is A. So, that's the annuity, which is 120,000. So, that is 120,000 divided by 12%. So, from here, we can get the P. Kaya lang, it's uh, hanggang 6th year, until 6th year lang. So, we need to get, we still need to get P from here up to present. Okay, so we will be using the formula, no, to get P. Okay. So, this is uh, parang ano siya, application ito ng uh, deferred annuity, kung matatandaan nyo, yung deferred annuity. So, yung formula natin, ba that is 1 plus i raised to, or yeah, raised to negative n. ba Ayan. So, kukunin nyo yun. So, dito, okay, so ayan. So, dito na lang natin yung pilot. Okay, so we have to determine P. So, that is equal to uh, 120,000 all over 
0 0.12, right? So that is for perpetuity. So yan yung uh, P from here going to 6th tier. So ito yung formula that we will be using, no? Perpetuity. Tapos, multiply by, mumultiply natin siya. So we have to determine P given F, di ba? At 12% interest for 6 years. Okay? So, yan ay this one. We will apply this one from here, 6 year, going back to present. Okay? Yan. So, ngayon, we already considered the cost, no? Yung 100,000 annually for the first 6 years and then 120,000 thereafter. Okay, so now we can determine Q. Okay, so we will be using the formula for, uh, oh, the formula ng annuity. Okay, so this one, i-apply, we will apply yan dito. Okay, so annuity natin is 100,000, okay, multiplied by one minus one plus zero point twelve. Okay, put it in my book. Okay, one plus zero point twelve raised to negative six. Because I that is for uh, six years. Okay, all over zero point. Well, okay, so that is for 100,000 pesos for the first six years. Okay, so we still need to get the cost no, or the present worth of 100, yung cost natin, which is 120,000 thereafter, after six years. Okay, so we need to add, no, so plus yung cost natin, which is 120,000. So first, um, kunin muna natin yung P from here, papunta dito. So, since um, indefinite yung time, again, perpetuity yan. So, plus 120,000, diba? So, that is A, yung, yung annuity natin, all over I. So, yung I natin is 12%. Okay? And then, we have to multiply. So, syempre, kailangan mo, we still need to get, um, ulitin ko ulit. So, kailangan ulit natin kunin yung P from here, going dito sa present. Okay? So, kaya iyan ay multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.12. Okay? So, yung formula natin, di ba? Uh, ito. So, we need to get P given F at 12% for 6 years. So, yan yung present word kasi ito yung parang F, di ba? Right? So, ito yung F and then we have to get P. Babalik natin dito. So, we need to get P given F at at uh, 12% interest for 6 years. So, kaya iyan ay 1 plus 0 0.12 raised to negative 6. Okay? So, that is for Q. Okay. So, makukuha yung Q dyan. Okay? So, ano makukuha natin Q? So, makukuha yung Q is, uh, this one is uh, exact. No? So, exact ito. Uh, ito ay based on uh, yung book nyo na engineering economy no by Hipolito Santa Maria exact kasi nandoon so i don't have a calculator na iwanan ko sa faculty room so uh, hindi ko siya ma-compute ng exact pero based sa book that is equal to 917,740 pesos okay Yan. so ito yung present work natin for perpetual operation. Okay? So, as you can see, that is application of perpetuity and annuity. Okay? So, parang ito ay deferred annuity and perpetuity. So, it depends on the problem. Ano? Okay. So, katulad nga sabi ko sa inyo, if the time is given, so, we will be using the formula for annuity. If indefinite yung time, we will be using perpetuity. Okay? Ayan. So, now, meron na tayong Q. Okay. So, next is um, yung cost naman natin for 
perpetual replacement. Okay, so for replacement naman tayo. O, so, erase ko na muna po para hindi magulo. So, okay na tayo dito. Malinaw yung ating cash flow diagram. Okay. Yan. So, that is for Q. So, next, determine naman natin yung X, which is yung cost natin for replacement. So, yung X, yung formula natin for X, Okay. So, yung x, that is equal to s all over 1 plus i raised to k minus 1. Tama ba? Okay. So, this is our formula to get x. So, again, yung x natin, ito yung cost natin for uh, replacement, perpetual replacement. Okay. So, again, going back sa problem, di ba? So, nakalagay dyan, mm -hmm. so, 500,000 every 5 years for replacement of uh, equipment. So, 500,000 every 5 years. Okay, so in this case, compared with the, our example, last example natin sa case number 2. So, uh, in that problem kasi, the given is the salvage value. Okay, and the original cost of the equipment. So, in this case naman, yung uh, cost for replacement ay given na, which is equal to 500,000. So, you just substitute. No? So, 500,000 all over 1 plus i, so that is 12%, raised to k. So, since uh, i-replace daw natin siya every 5 years, so k is equal to 5 minus 1. So, x is equal to Okay. Oh, so this one is exact. 655,873 pesos and 88 centavos. Okay, so exactly. Okay, so that is for uh, X or this is a uh, cost for perpetual replacement. Okay, so for case number 3, diba, yung ating capitalized cost, so that is equal to original cost daw. So, again, how much is the original cost? So, original cost, mm -hmm. okay, so, ang uh, original cost natin is 5 million. Okay. So, original cost natin is equal to 5 million pesos. Okay. So, 5 million pesos. So, to get the capitalized cost, add nyo lang lahat. So, original cost, which is 5 million. Original cost um, of the equipment is 5 million pesos. Plus, yung Q natin, which is the cost natin for maintenance. Okay. And, yung X natin, which is the cost natin for perpetual replacement. Okay, so now, so that is equal to 5 million pesos, okay, plus yung cost natin, yung Q natin, which is equal to 917,740 pesos, okay, plus yung cost natin for replacement, which is equal to 655,000 873.88 okay so all in all capitalized cost is equal to so this one I'm sorry I'm medyo na, baka ma-confuse kayo so this one for x kasi that is uh, exact okay uh, kapag if you're going to check the book no so yung given na answer doon is um uh, ano na kumbaga siya ay rounded off na no? Okay. So, ang total natin na capitalized cost is equal to okay, 6 million. So, this one is exact then, ha? Sorry, I don't have calculator. 6 million 753,650. Okay. 
three. So that is for capitalized cost. So maybe if you're going to add this one, 5 million plus 917,740 and this one, you will not the, get the same answer because this one is exact. And our x is uh, yung, I mean, exact. Ito ay rounded off na. Yung x is the exact value. Okay. But um, we will be using exact value. Huh? So on your exam, on your seat works, we have to use exact value. Okay. So this one, medyo may konting discrepancy yan. Yung 6,750. Kasi that is already rounded off na. Yung value of x and uh, uh, q and x i rounded off na so that's why we get this uh, final answer okay so again uh, i'll be posting sip work for case number three after ko may post itong uh, video natin okay so hopefully um natutunan yung no yung ating uh, capitalized cost Okay, and then next topic natin is amortization. Okay, so keep safe, stay home, mga kapatid. Okay, bye!